in this video i am going to show you how to make the real jamaican sorrel chutney so in this pot i have two cups of water and i also have this is about half pound of sorrel or they call it sorrel colossus colossus or something of the sort that's what they call it anyway this is about half pound. On the cutting board, one pepper that I will be de-seeding. And this is one clove garlic that I will mince. This is piece of ginger that I will grate up. And this is half of one large onion and half of one small onion. So what I'm going to do first is to um, I'm not going to use the pepper seed as I mentioned before, right? I'm going to remove just the yellow part. So I'm going to I'm going to throw this outside and trust me, within a month I will have pepper sucker. That's how fertile Jamaica soil is. So the minced garlic, minced onion, minced add pepper, and the grated ginger. This part of the ginger, the this part of the ginger, the this part of the grater. The ginger should be finely grated. All right, just set this aside. This is seven pimento seeds. So I'm going to crush them. All right, so let's continue. So this is two cups of water, remember that I told you that. To the two cups of water, I am gonna add one cup of brown sugar. And I'm gonna add a little bit more, and please pay attention as I call the names of the ingredients, so that if you will be following this recipe, you know exactly the name of the ingredients and the amount. So I am adding around half cup, half cup more of brown sugar to the water. I am also adding the pimentos, ginger, garlic. And the um the onion I'm gonna put the pot on I eat and boil for five minutes covered it has been five minutes since the ingredients are boiling So right now I am going to reduce the heat. So to low. And then I'm going to add a sorrel. the add pepper the juice of one lime one tablespoon white vinegar so my grandmother always put golden raisin 
raisins as well but I don't have any golden raisins at this moment so I am not gonna use it so if you will be following this recipe you can add quarter three quarter cup of golden raisin at this time as well so what I'm gonna do now is to cover the pot and cook everything and I'm gonna stir occasionally until the consistency resembles jam like yes yeah, so stay tuned for that the pot should be off covered okay so stir occasionally The consistency is coming on perfectly, but it needs to thicken up some more. Remember that the heat should be low because it should simmer. The sorrel chutney is of the right consistency. It's time to remove it from the heat. However, I did a test where I just used my finger to make a streak um, in the syrup at the back of the spoon. And as you can see, it stays in place. The syrup didn't run or anything like that. So it's time to remove it from heat. Immediately after removing the sorrel chutney from heat, I pour into a container and then I'm going to place the container in the fridge immediately to let it chill for at least three hours. After three hours, I'm going to put it into a mason jar and store it in the fridge for up to two months. Sorrel chutney should be sweet, should be spicy and should be tangy. Let me tell us something, each ingredient complements each other. So when you're eating it, it's a blend of flavors rolling all over your taste bud. It is really nice and you can serve it with fish, with chicken, you can eat it with crackers. Let me tell us something, it and cheese nice, so till. Not gonna eat the sorrel chutney until maybe after a week because the flavor improves as it age it's just like the christmas pudding as it gets older it tastes much better than when you just bake it you understand it's the same thing with the sorrel chutney and the good thing is it contains no preservatives however the shelf life is pretty much short Yes, 
two months the most in the fridge yes so while growing up sorrel chocolate was a traditional thing in my house on new year's day every new year's day yeah whatever we eat in sorrel chocolate had to be in the mix yes it is not a jamaican traditional thing overall but in my house while growing up it was a traditional thing yes and they still make um sorrel chocolate for new year's day thanks for watching thanks for your support and thanks for your thumbs up thanks for your views and everything like that yeah man stay blessed walk good until next time